Let's go, guys. Hell in a Cell coming up here. Without a doubt, this is going to be one of the most hellacious matches we have ever witnessed. Oh, Bulldog! One-handed! There he goes, crashing to the floor. Inverted backbreaker. Ow! A striking blow. He's not in a good spot here, guys. He simply needs to find a way to regroup. Big backdrop. Boom! Oh, what impact! not looking like himself here. Looks like he may have let his guard down there for a moment and it cost him. If this is the only damage he walks away from this match with Cole, he should consider himself very lucky. But let's face it, that's just not gonna happen. Not when you're inside the cell. If things don't change in a hurry, this has all the makings of a short evening for him. Lights out, DDT connects. conversation about great Hell in a Cell moments without bringing up the name Shane McMahon. He really has become synonymous with Cell insanity. Shane McMahon has done when it comes to Hell in a Cell. As Corey was saying, but at what point is enough enough? Come on, Michael. There's no such thing as enough when it comes to Shane McMahon. Even you know that. John shattering boot. Bang! Oh, what incredible power. Wow, what a vertical suplex. Kane in defensive Oof. mode here. But not for a second do I expect him to back down now. Real quick, let's remind everybody that there are no rules inside of Hell in a Cell, meaning the referee's sole job in this match is to call for the bell following a three count or submission. Oh boy, he is rolling. From behind. Ooh, what impact. Shoulders are down. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. No, he kicks out at two. Not yet. Oh, oh, oh what a boot. Just as important as Byron's point about there being no rules inside the cell, the same holds true for outside the structure. As we've seen many times in the past, superstars don't always stay within the cell. No, they don't, Cole. In fact, a lot of times you'll see them competing on top of the cell of all places. Oof! Reverses that one. Nailed it! Oh, going to the top, high risk. What fiendish things are going through that demented mind right now? Stay down, man. He misses the dive. And unfortunately for him, there was no water in the pool. And no luck against Kane there. Oh, nasty impact. That'll hinder your modeling career. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Guys, we oftentimes talk about the dangers of competing inside Hell in a Cell. But let's not forget these competitors aren't the only ones in there. It could be just as dangerous for the official as well. Lightning fast reflexes. You gotta believe this one's over. Nailed it. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Ooh. He's making a statement here with this attack. I agree with Michael's point on the danger of this match. I mean, the environment is so brutal for all involved. Just go back to... He's looking at it. This might be it. Oh, my. Can he finish the job? 
Oh boy, he is rolling. Kane being tested here. He started this match in great health, but now it seems fatigue has set in. I'm not sure he has much left. He's a spinning ball of energy, given the enormity. Devil's favorite sidewalk slam. That should do it. seen some pretty special moments over the years, but for me, few were more special than getting the opportunity to call the first ever women's Hell in a Cell match back in October of 2016. Harsh impact! Oh, Corey, he had loaded there! Recalling that first ever women's Hell in a Cell match, I gotta say, the ovation Sasha Banks received that night was among the loudest I've ever heard, but I didn't remember you actually calling the match. Yeah, that's what happens when you compete in your hometown, Cole, but ovations can only get you so far. And in the end, it was Charlotte walking away with the win, not Sasha. When this guy's on, look out. Kane with a vice-like grip on his opponent's skull. Can't waste any time here. That might be the end of Kane tonight. Oh, and he slips out. Wow, looked to me like he had it locked in pretty good. I guess not. Vicious attack. What a punch. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. When this guy's on, look out. The devil's favorite demon with the devil's favorite sidewalk slam. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Kane, uh oh. Oh boy. Choke slam straight to hell. This one is over. Let me tell you, shoulders down, is it enough? Gets the shoulder up before three. It's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in the tank. And Kane easily avoids the pinfall. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. These superstars have tried everything. They have something left in their arsenal. They have to, but can they? Is that enough for the win? Oh my, how in the world did he kick out of that? With all the damage done, you have to wonder how much more it'll take. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that came with a vice-like 
grip on his opponent's skull. Wow, Kane is getting absolutely pummeled. I don't know if Kane can recover. Showing off some of his speed there. the bus. This one is over. Oh boy, he is rolling. You gotta believe this one's over. He can end it here. Two. Three. There's the pinfall. And the victory. And here's another pick of the moves he saw in that match. These guys showed flashes in this match, but flashes don't exactly set the world on fire, as these highlights show very well. I know the match was solidly entertaining, but I really hope these guys would take it to the next level. Regardless, winner, nobody's asking Kane. for their money. Back. And there's your winner via pinfall. To get the pinfall victory over such a high-quality opponent is incredibly impressive, Michael. Listen to this Detroit crowd. I think they're already ready for the rematch.